So give it up for my man, Young Chris 0813. Give it up, give it up, give it up. <laughs> now why the Chris O? Chris O, okay, so man, you the first person ever asked that. For real? Yeah, so yes. Chris O came from when I was in high school, me and my boy Mark, we used to listen to the Migos yeah. all the time. Yeah. And then he just started calling me Chris O, like being uh, funny. And then I just stuck with it. Chris O. That's really, yeah, that's really, yeah, yeah. just like that. That's yeah. how you just say it. Yeah, you can't say it no other way, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what's up. And that's, that's, that's how everybody say it, like, yeah. pretty much. So, so you, you actually a, a musician, musician, yeah. not just a guy that just punch buttons. Yeah, yeah musician. Mm. I, you know, all right, so I'm, I'm going to ask you this then. All right. Do you feel like, all of the sounds have been made. There's nothing new that you can create. And what I mean by that, from a classical standpoint. I would say like, it really ain't too much new stuff, but you can like layer stuff. Like if I mix like a piano with a certain type of brass, yeah. that's a new type of sound if okay. ain't nobody did it yet. So okay, okay. you can like layer stuff. Okay. And I, I do a lot of that like in my production, like stacking like uh, a clap and a snare that People yeah. probably hear or like a keyboard and a synth or like a pad yeah. that people ain't probably, you know, mixed so, together. So let me ask you this. What, what, what do you think about samples? Because I done heard a couple of your tracks. So uh, what, what, how oh, do you feel about samples versus what you was just talking about? I've been sampling more so lately, like, but it's right, been like right. behind the scenes, but that's going to drop soon. But um, okay. I like sampling. Like, it's... Yeah, me too. It, it bring out like something different. You feel me? Yeah. Like, it takes you back to a point, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you can, if you got identified, right? But see, a lot of people they hit me up to replay, like, songs really? and stuff, because a lot of times, like, sampling can be like in the industry, it could be tricky. Yeah. So a lot of like different producers that hit me up, like, hey, Chris, I need you to play some SWV. Uh, Word. And you, that's like right in your wheelhouse. You can just yeah. go right to it and then put your own little funk to it. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. So who who inspired you? You know what I'm saying? Who inspired you to do uh, music? I say first off, just like my family, cause that's okay. that's what I was around. Like my grandma, she had like a big keyboard in the house, yeah. all ripped. So her nice. and my mama, so. pops, just them being the first one, and then like different musicians at church. Okay. So I gotta give them their credit, and then of course like you know, just the God giving gift. I, I'm a, I'm gonna give you a new nickname, bro. I'm a, I'm gonna call you the the Teddy 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 Keys. Teddy okay. Keys O. I take that. Teddy Riley, that's my favorite. There it is. You feel me? You see what I'm going there with that? That one of my favorite uh, producers, so yeah, you man. Do a point with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I, bro, I love everything you're doing, man. Appreciate it. Um, I feel like you are important. You know, a lot of a lot of the artists that came through tonight are, are very important. But see, you got your 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 fingers on it. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So with that, I want to ask, how do you feel? You know about the the temple music scene, the future of it, like, how do you, how do you feel um, about it? I love it because it's more so, like, versatile now, like, it ain't just one sound, like, yeah. you know, we still got that, I still respect that, too, because that's what we all came up, you yeah. know, like, with the Tampa Tonys, and Jip music, rated right, right all, yeah, like, yeah. so, yeah. Uh, I respect it, but, of course, I'm open-minded that mm -hmm. it ain't just gonna be that, like, we got more, it's definitely we got way definitely. more, like, the offer. So. And I think it, just like we were talking about with the the sampling and stuff like that, I think mm -hmm. we could take that that same juke music and revamp it because yeah. the world really haven't heard it. And I always hear like um, out yeah. there in Oakland in the Bay Area. I'm like, dude, I don't know. They I feel like they 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 kind of pull from us. You know what I'm saying? Same <laughs> thing with out there in Houston yeah. with the chopping screw slow down music. True, true. Because like I remember all of those guys back in the days. Eminem, 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 it was a guy named Eminem, DJ Red, Screw. all those cats, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. yeah, man. But other than that, what you gonna be doing for us tonight? Uh, I'm gonna just be doing what I do, like in the studio, making the beat, and we just gonna vibe. Like, so we got a know. fresh beat on the scene <laughs> yeah, right fresh now. On the spot. That's a first. That's a first <laughs> at the Open Mic Studio Series, man. <laughs> and let's get it. For sure.